If you're a consistent dispensationalist, then you have to believe that God has two bodies. God has two wives. Israel is God's wife and the church is God's bride. And therefore God is a polygamist. And if God's a polygamist, then either polygamy is okay or polygamy is not okay. And God sins by being a polygamist. Uh, and therefore God doesn't exist because that that's a contradiction. A God can't exist who, you know, <laughs> so either polygamy is okay or atheism or the third option, there's multiple gods. So like, it's okay for them to have different brides because they're different beings. And so like, there goes the Trinity, <laughs> right? It's like, you know, forget the Trinity. I have to maintain dispensationalism. And so I am willing to throw out the entire Trinity. Or I'm willing to throw out, uh, you know, the fact that, yeah, yeah, God can have contradictions in his character. Yeah, God isn't perfect. God can sin. Sure, yeah. Yeah, God can tell us to do one thing and he can do the other. He's he's basically like a Greek God that punishes people for their sins and also like goes off and sleeps with other gods. God's no better than some made up God of the Greek pantheon.